Hey guys, welcome back to Must See YT Thursdays. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's jump right into it. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing my top five favorite locations for outdoor workouts in San Francisco and I'm going to be providing a few reasons why they're my favorite. So let's jump right into that. Reason number one. All of these areas are beautiful San Francisco iconic landmarks. They provide inspiration and motivation. You're going to have an awesome workout and then when you're done with your workout, you can reward yourself with a beautiful post-workout selfie. Number two, all of these areas make it very easy and convenient to bring equipment. So if you have a jump rope, or bands, maybe some light dumbbells, you're gonna have plenty of space to bring your equipment and do an awesome hit workout. But even if you don't wanna bring equipment or maybe you don't have any, all of these areas also provide fixtures that you can work off of. Stairs, benches, bleachers, so you can get creative with your squats, your lunges, your push-ups. So whether you have equipment or not, you're gonna do fine. Reason number three. Working out outdoors cultivates mental toughness and helps you develop mental fortitude. And honestly, nowadays, who couldn't use some more of that? Reason number four, all of these areas are very family friendly. So if you wanna bring your kids or bring your dog, you don't have to do an intense workout. You can go for a leisurely walk or a nice hike and just make a beautiful day out of it. And again, just a beautiful opportunity to take some pictures with your family or with your dog. Reason number five, if you know anything about San Francisco, you know that parking can be a pain and all of these areas offer parking. Four out of the five offer free parking, and the fifth one, you can get free parking, but you have to look for it and be a little savvy about it. And then reason number six, all of these areas are very safe. So as long as you're not obvious about leaving your belongings in your car, your car won't get broken into. Furthermore, I would advise, when you arrive at your location, don't put your belongings in your trunk when you arrive at your location because somebody inevitably will see you and your car will still get broken into. But again, these are generally safe areas. So as long as you're not obvious, you shouldn't have a problem with any of those things. So now that we've gotten into my reasons why I love these areas, let's go check them out. Our first stop today is the San Francisco Presidio. The Presidio is full of hiking, walking, and biking trails. And right now I am on one of the oldest trails in the city, Lover's Lane. Lover's Lane stretches through the Presidio and it is approximately one mile long. You can come hike it by yourself or with your lover. And there you have it, that's the Presidio. Let's get to our next location. And here we are folks, in my fourth most favorite place to work out at in San Francisco, Chrissy Field. Chrissy Field has no shortage of space. So if you want to do that workout equipment, this is the place to do it. This is also a great place to bring your dogs, bring the family, have a picnic if you want to. Let's take a closer look. On the south side of Chrissy Field, you have the Fort Mason Center. Then of course, you have the big field. All the way at the other end of the field, you have a couple trucks. You got a coffee truck, Phil's Coffee, and you got a taco truck as well. And as you keep going, you get the beautiful view of the Golden Gate Bridge. All right, guys, here we are at my second most favorite location in San Francisco to work out at, the Lion Street Stairs. And this is actually a twofer because there is a secondary part to these stairs that many people are not familiar with. I rarely see anybody on this secret, I call it my secret stairs. So let's take a look at how intense these stairs are. That's part of the reason why they're my favorite because of the intensity of the workout you get here. It's a little bit of a drive, but it's worth it. So let's go check them out.
So the first portion is 62 stairs. That's only part one. There are many parts to go. Okay. 63 stairs on the secondary part. Okay. Good day. And we'll take a moment just to whew, catch my breath. Check out that view. Over there behind that tree is the Golden Gate Bridge. You got the palace. And all the way in the corner, you can see Alcatraz. So that's part one and two of the Lion Street stairs. You have this area right here where people will come set up and work out their dumbbells, their bands, their jump ropes, whatever. And then we have the secondary part of the Lion Street stairs. Let's check those out. Somebody left their heart in San Francisco. Another thing that I like about the secondary part of these stairs is that they're shallow. So if you want to take two at a time and really go ham, this is where you do it. Here's another landing where people will set up and work out. And there's your selfie satisfaction spot. One other pro tip guys, the right side is to go up the stair, I'm sorry, stay on the right, that's how it goes. So if you're going up, stay on the right. If you're going down, stay on the right. We walk the same way we drive. So let's head over to that secondary part of the Lion Street stairs that I was telling you guys about. Like I said, a lot of people don't check out this spot. I personally think because it's harder. It's a little more secluded too, so it's not as obvious. Let's go take a look. So we are now at Baker and Broadway. These are what I call, referred to as, my secret stairs. How beautiful is that? The stairs and the view. And right in the middle, you're gonna see there's a little garden where you can hang out, have a breather. Let's go take a look at that. And here we are, we've arrived. Talk about a little peaceful piece of heaven. They've named it Patrick's Park. Thank you, Mr. Patrick. Just have a moment, zen out, have a meditation. Maybe just drink your protein shake and catch your breath. It's wonderful. Let's go check out the rest. So if the other street would be the Lion Street stairs, I guess these would be the Baker Street stairs, which again are just not as popular. This is the uphill portion. Half of the uphill portion is stairs and the other half is just a flat pavement. This is where you really crank up the intensity if you're looking for that really hard hit, cardio, conditioning. This is it, folks. Let's go check it out.
check out that hill, guys. I'm going to pause for a second and reset up. If this hill is not 45 degrees, it is pretty freaking close to it. I used to do this pretty frequently. Let's see if I still got it. Well, yeah, I guess I still got it. Let's move on to the next location. And here we are, guys, at my most favorite place to work out outdoors in San Francisco. Let's go take a closer look. What I love about this place is that it is big and it is practical. Plenty of parking as well. You have people doing group sessions, individual sessions. Some people are just doing their thing. And if you don't want to run the track, they also offer this nice trail that runs alongside the track. So you can feel a little less pressure, maybe zen out a little bit. And of course, they've got the stairs. So if you want that high intensity hit workout, you have come to the right place. The energy out here is amazing. The fresh air, the sunshine, you're gonna feel great. Bring your equipment if you want, or leave it at home. No matter what, you're gonna have a good time. And that's it guys, there you have it. My top five favorite locations for working out outdoors in San Francisco. Thank you for joining me. Please be sure to join me next week next Thursday for another episode of Must See YT. Peace.